This summer I was teaching an online writing class and one of the things I had my students do was create an annotated bibliography and they were working together on a shared document for this but we ran into the typical problems where you have things like students overwriting each other and you get into formatting problems and sometimes you get a synchronization problem and so I'm trying to come up with I was trying to come up with a new way of kind of solving this problem and one of the things I have done in the past is I've used a shared PowerPoint presentation to, cre to create from for not for presentation um, where the student worked on their own information within one slide and then so they would create a slide they would work within that slide and then the other students could then come in and add their own slides and what's nice about that is there was no problems with them overwriting each other and um, so I started playing with this idea and I created this template now I'm going to show you how this template works and I will also show you how you can duplicate this for your own class but first I'm going to take you through uh, a demonstration here of it what's really neat about this particular um, solution is that students can, can also a bonus part of this is they can move around the references quite easily because each reference is within its own slide so you can move it around quite a bit and then you end up with quite a long PowerPoint presentation but in the end you'll have a lot of references with annotations to it so let's take you through it so um, here is the template a very basic kind of title slide and then the next slide is the instructions so the students can read this about how to insert a new slide and choose the layout called annotated bibliography so I went into the slide master covered all of the layouts except for blank and I created one called annotated bibliography and that particular master um, which I'll show you in a minute um, only has the three sections to it. Let me show you an example here. So here is the example slide. So it would have reference, and then you could put in your reference information text, and they put in their text, and then your name, and they can put in your name. They cannot edit reference text in your name. They can only put in into the text boxes. So here is the blank one. Reference, they can click here and add their text, text, and name. I've also formatted this. This one has hanging indent. This one has first line indent. This one has no indent. Um, and it's using 12 point font, times New Roman, double spaced. So everything's all formatted for them. So just give them, I, I took some of the work obviously away from them, but I think it ended up working out to be quite nice. Uh, so how do they do this? Well, again, they just go to follow the instructions. They go insert, new slide, they choose annotated bibliography, add slide, and a new slide appears, and then they can type in their information. What's really cool about this is, let's just say I had them do, I have them do five annotated. Bibli um, references so they would have five different slides and so they would post those five slides in alphabetic order the next student would come along to add their five and they can then add their five and then move them around so that the student A and the student B their slides are now mixed in the proper alphabetical order and so on with each student coming in they keep moving their slides so that they're always into the right uh, alphabetical order compared to everybody else in the class in the end, let's just say you have them do five references and you have 10 students, you have 50 references and they should all be nicely in alphabetic order. And students can then go along and they can read them and find the information that they would need to know whether or not that reference is really handy. So where I was using it was they were working on a particular writing topic. All of them had the same topic, but because of the limited resources out there being online, they didn't have the library access. Um, this allowed them to be able to find and explore different resources that were out there and share them and then everybody could check them and use those references for part of their paper. So to me the annotated bibliography was a culmination of individual student work and group work. I really like that kind of concept. Um, what's really nice about this is because it's hosted in Office 365 and uh, OneDrive that means students can go to it from anywhere on any other computers and add their information to it and reference it later on, come back and find it and get the information that they need. So let me show you how this is all going to work so that you can do this for yourself. So first off, I don't care. You can have this. I'll put this down into the comment box. Just go ahead and use it. You don't have to reference me. I don't care. Uh, really, it was just me putting together a slide master, so it's not like I did a lot of extra work on this. So go ahead and use this to your heart's content. Um, if you want to um, actually add any slides to it that don't, make sure you do the insert blank and then add whatever you need to do. All right, so where are you going to find it? Well, first off, in here, let's go back here and let's find it first off. So it's right here and I'll click on that one. Okay, 
So I'm going to share this and show you how, once you click on this link, what you'll be able to do. So I'm just going to go into share here. And I'm going to make it anyone with a link, apply, copy link, and copy. So now when you get the link, like this, this is what it's going to look like. You're not going to be able to edit it. So you'll want to going to go up to File to make a copy for yourself. File, Download As, and Download a PowerPoint presentation to your computer. Hit Download. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your OneDrive, and you are going to upload it. So I'm going to go to Find My Folder. I'm actually going to drag it in here. You could also click on Upload, and it's in here. Now I want to share it with my students. So what I do is I just hold my mouse over here. There's a little arrow, share arrow here. Click on that. And because it's within my institution, that will allow them to edit. If I do anyone with a link, it won't allow. So I'm going to choose anyone within my institution to do that. Allow editing, apply, copy link, copy. And now what will happen is when students click on that link, they'll log in with their Office 365, and they'll be able to edit that particular document. Now you can also edit this and make this fit what you need it to do. So you can go back and you can edit your own to give a different examples. Maybe yours is shorter or longer or whatever that type of thing, but it allows you to um, play with that a little bit. So I hope that's helpful to you. Now, if you have any questions about this, please post it into the chat box. Uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, anything that you wanted to um, see done with this, that type of thing, please let me know. Just again, put it in the chat box. If you're interested in more videos like this, please uh, go ahead and subscribe on this. Um, I try and post different ideas of how you can use technology in your online classes and your face-to-face -face classes. So if that resonates with you, please subscribe. Thank you very much.